It takes a lot of pipelines to get water to all of San Diego County's nearly three and a half million people. This story is about large diameter pipelines. This map shows the 308 miles of those big pipes running all through the county, delivering water to the San Diego County Water Authority and its 23 member agencies. So it's critical those pipelines are properly maintained. So these large diameter pipelines um, are known in the industry as transmission pipelines. So they're like your, uh, your main arteries in your body. Sticking with the medical analogy, you might call Martin Coghill the lead physician when it comes to the health of this area's water transmission pipelines. His actual title is Operations and Maintenance Manager for Asset Management for the Water Authority. We met him off Sycamore Canyon Road in Poway within the Gooden Ranch Preserve. So there's, there's visual, which is us climbing inside the pipelines and then also using video technology. Before heading to the area where the pipeline maintenance was happening, Coghill did a bit of show and tell, telling us the different ways he and his colleagues have of determining what shape the all-important transmission pipelines are in. And then there's uh, acoustics, and we have oh. like acoustic fiber optic cable, which goes in some of our pipelines. High-tension wires, shown in this cutaway picture of a pipe, will snap if something goes wrong. The fiber optic cable then picks up that noise and reveals exactly where there's a problem. And there's another kind of acoustic measuring device, this foam ball, an acoustic leak detection ball. This goes inside this foam insert and um, the technology inside this ball can hear leaks as this flows through the pipeline. Back to the visual aspect, this device, invented by Coghill, he calls it Scanny. It makes high-resolution video surveillance possible in areas where it's a challenge for humans to be in the pipes. Some of them um, go through very steep sections and that requires specialist rope support for the personnel that are inside the pipelines. In other words, it's risky for people. With Scanny, you get the surveillance without the danger. And scanning allows for us to lower the device with a, an array of seven cameras so that we can get the equivalent resolution from someone being inside the pipe done via the cameras. There's another device being used for this inspection. We find it at a pipe access point just down the road. It's this contraption, an electromagnetic tool invented by the company doing this part of the inspection, PICA, the Pipeline Inspection and Condition Analysis Corporation. This is quite an ingenious tool. They've used um, inflatable surfboard technology to make this tool. These discs are all put down into the pipe where a worker joins them together. Then they're inflated and the high resolution technology goes to work. The sensors will fit to the, the entire circumference of the pipeline. We can find the local uh, corrosion spots that might be occurring to the pipeline, within the pipeline. While they may seem small, with the pressures and the volumes of water that we have inside the pipeline, um, even a leak can be quite devastating. This work was happening in what's known as Aqueduct 1, comprised of one pipeline built in the 1940s and Pipeline 2 built in the 1950s. Pipeline 2 is being inspected now with repairs to follow, then the older one is up next for inspection and repairs. So this condition assessment, which involves 15 miles, we anticipate will be complete in about four to five weeks. There are some other work going on in this pipeline to rehabilitate these structures, and that will take about a year. And so in a year's time, we will actually finish that um, rehabilitation work and we'll switch the pipelines over. While we were shooting this story, Martin Coghill said something very interesting about this inspection, and that is that they wouldn't have been able to do it 10 years ago. The difference? Conservation by water users in San Diego County. The demands have come down sufficiently enough that we can isolate one pipeline from the other and just supply for this time of year um, using one pipeline. And so the work continues, the never-ending work of keeping the pipelines in good shape, the pipelines that deliver something no living thing on earth can do without, the elixir of life, water. John Carroll, KPBS News.